Morning, a Halloween costume featured on a website is gaining a lot of negative attention this week. Fun.com. Uh -oh. Not so fun as far as this is concerned. They're based in North Mankato. Uh, they run the website HalloweenCostumes.com. Halloween costumes, these guys were on our show uh, last week on HalloweenCostumes.com. You uh, apparently used to be able to find a costume of Holocaust victim Anne Frank. So this is the photo that was shown with the original listing mm -hmm. uh, that shows a girl smiling wearing World War II era clothing. A uh, spokesman for the online retailer apologized, said the costume has been pulled there. But Kim, the costume is still around on other on other sites. So yeah. like Walmart.com. It's sold and, as a Halloween costume, right. not just a theater costume or whatever. It's not necessarily labeled as an Anne Frank costume. No, it was World War II evacuee, though. That's what we saw in there, but World but War II But what other evacuee. girl do you affiliate with World Correct. War II? It just feels icky to me. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I appreciate wanting to you know, use something as an educational tool for your kids and your kids' friends mm -hmm. talk about Anne Frank and what she represents, but this is a real person who died in a horrific way, her and her family, victims of war. And a Halloween costume just doesn't feel like the time or place for that. I think this is so tough for you know, costume makers when they're looking at this because we're kind of seeing a resurgence of interest in history. I think with Hamilton has kind of sparked mm -hmm. that and granted very, very different from World War mm -hmm. II, but it's history nonetheless. You just have to be careful when it's someone who's so symbolic of, you know, just a horrific, horrific mm -hmm. thing that happened in our history. Yeah. And then they have the little girl smiling and kind of, you know, hand on the hip. It just feels weird. So the leader of the Anti-Defamation League in Arizona said on Twitter, there are better ways to commemorate Anne Frank. We shouldn't mm -hmm. trivialize her memory and costume. And I think, honestly, there's literally no one who's arguing like, hey, this is a great costume. Yeah. No one is arguing that. Uh, to give the company the benefit of the doubt, mm -hmm. when you run a costume website, and you have a warehouse of all these costumes. You can see how from a technology standpoint, you might have this whole list of costumes that you run because schools do, I mean, my school did, Diary of Anne Frank, yeah. every school, so schools do this all over the place. You could see where like maybe that database would get uh, shipped over to HalloweenCostumes.com when it's usually on fun.com and yeah. maybe they need to be more careful about going through it. Yeah. I so, will say, though, th this one is clear, but this is the first. So buckle up. For the next two weeks, you're going to hear the outrage machine about yes, various costumes. That time of year. And people, this is what people look for. And I don't know who you are, but God bless you that you have time all day to look around the Internet and try to find the dumb costumes that are out there. But people find them. They find them. And they be, find them, and they get so that is upset. That the world we live in now, and you have to be aware of it when you have Absolutely. When you if you're a, a costume job. retailer, you got, yeah. And I mean, come they on. They apologized right away. They took they it down. They did the right thing. So, there on. it is. Well, it seems like 4G.